We completely forgot the camera in the car, but we are currently at the Polynesian going to get breakfast at uh, Captain Cook's, which is the quick service restaurant here. Um, yeah, and then we're gonna go to Typhoon Lagoon later. I got the Tonga Toast with bacon, and Austin got the breakfast burrito. And this looks absolutely delicious. Like, It looks so delicious. good. The only thing about this, if you get it here, is that it doesn't come with the strawberry compote that it normally comes with when you eat it upstairs at Kona Cafe. But other than that, it's basically the same. So we have just finished our day at Typhoon Lagoon. We were just sitting down for lunch. We got the like special where you get a lunch, um, oh there it is. <laughs> you get like a lunch thing, you get your refillable mug, and then you also get a towel, which Austin is wearing. Cool Mickey. Um, so we're just gonna finish up here and then we're going to, are we gonna go, we're gonna go back to the campsite, get ready, and then we're gonna go to um, mini golf, and then we're gonna go to Hollywood Studios. Okay, so we finally remember to actually get the camera now. And we are about to go to Hollywood Studios for the first time this, this trip. trip. And yeah, so we have a fast pass for Tower of Terror first day. Tower of Terror, I think. Not until like at like seven. six. I think it's six. And it's three o'clock now, so we'll just probably get on whatever we can and whatever has the shortest line and stuff. And I have a traveler with me. Um, the alien is coming to his homeland of Toy Story Land. He's so cute! <laughs> and we just got back from mini golf and we tied, which I feel like we do every time we play mini golf because, like we were saying earlier, it's the first time we went on a date, I think, we went mini golfing. Mm -hmm. And we tied, and then we just tied the first time we golf, we mini golf at Disney. Of course. Hollywood Studios and we just got dropped off at the new bus stations. They look so good and they are so much closer to the front of the park instead of those old ones that they had for a bit. Oh, fireworks are going off. And also the gondolas are running or the Skyliners. Um, they cook. They are flying. <laughs> like, I think that's crazy. Oh, there's a yellow one, it's not covered. Wow. Pretty. Those are cool. Nice. Wow. That's gonna be so cool when it's up and running. <laughs> I also had a wonderful nap on the bus. I'm so tired, it just hit me. So hopefully we can power through and get all the stuff done here in the afternoon. We definitely 
will be. Yeah, I know. We'll be fine. But Disney bus naps are. I might need a. Uh, <laughs> I might need a Starbucks here. Yeah. They are so fast. That is yeah, crazy. they are. Road Star Tours, love that ride. Star Wars nerd, so um, yeah, love that ride. Now we're just going to get some food before we ride Tower of Terror because that is not a ride that you would like to go on on an empty stomach.
So there is absolutely nobody down here right now in the Incredibles area. They had the doors closed and they literally just opened them and now we're the only people in here. So that's pretty cool. Toy Story Land and for some reason when we went there like when we were walking up to here everybody was leaving and so now all the lines are like th it's 30 minutes for Toy Story Mania so we're gonna do that now um, the score in the shooter game is one nothing for me so let's see if Kate can let's see if she yes and sneak peek at the there will be a haul after we get back but this will not be able to be kept a secret for long, so. We just got the, well, she just got the Buzz Lightyear backpack, and she has her Buzz Lightyear Duffy that she's gonna put on it, and be all matchy-matchy, so. We will give an update on the score of this Toy Story Mania at the end. So, we're stupid, and we got in line when we have a Fast Pass for Fantasmic in 20 minutes, yes. so, oops. So we're walking over there now, so we'll do um, Toy Story Mania later. Um, but yeah, we are on our way. I look like a tomato. Got a little bit too much sun today.
Okay, so we left Fantasmic, which was pretty good. We got soaking wet though. We were like I, maybe the sixth row up. Yeah. So, and there was like the tiniest bit of breeze. So everything just like came into our faces. And I had no idea I was gonna even get wet at all because I never, like I've never seen it before. And I ended up getting my rain jacket out and just like laying it over my uh, legs and putting my arms under it. So that, so that I didn't get my uh, my shorts soaking wet. But anyways, then we took the boat over to Swan and Dolphin and the bus, the boat drivers, they're the, what's it called? Captain. Captain. The captain said it was going to be like another 25 minutes to get over to Epcot. So we just got off at the Swan and Dolphin and we're just walking over to Epcot and it's... And it's only been 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes and we're right already, here. we're already there. So definitely if you're planning on doing... Don't take the boat. It's yeah, don't pretty. take the boat. If you're in a rush, don't take the boat. It's pretty. Or just get off at Swan and Dolphin and then yeah. walk. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go to Epcot. We want to do a test track because we haven't done it yet and we're not coming back to Epcot, most likely. So, um, yeah, we will hopefully do that. You can like pull it. <laughs> 